All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of a Stone Block. And off camera, as promised, did some cleanup, and I did get a little bit farther along uh, some of just the basic grindy stuff. But you guys didn't see too much of, or uh, missed too much. And uh, I did build a smeltery. I put a redstone controller on it as well, and I actually smelted down all the stuff I got from the mining dimension and most of the stuff that I had sifted, uh, which I didn't sift that much. I think I had to go back and sift for some other random things as I reset up my uh, sifters here. Um, I had to keep switching mes meshes. That's why they're just sitting here right now. But I did build a an automatic lava source under here. Uh, I can show you guys that. It is uh, pumping in. This climbing gloves can sometimes really get in the way. Um, oh, wait, it doesn't go there. Sorry. That is not where the automatic lava source is at. It is over here by uh, the controller. Can't really show you, actually. It's down there. Basically, I just got a collagen going into a uh, crucible and being piped out with some of the flat transfer nodes right over into there. I've also built a lava generator in general. Right now, I'm building just... I, I built some uranium that I sifted for uh, because I didn't have enough stuff to get to the... There's a heating element that you can get. Let's look at the uh, the crucible. Crucible. If you look at the crucible, you have... Maybe that fired crucible here we go uh you have uh, 120 times for an awakened draconian block i got really lucky in stone block one when i started and i got the draconian block as a reward i wasn't as lucky this time uh but you got five times for like flint and steel 60 times for the superheating element 30 times for platinum uh, block of uranium though and i could get that from sifting is 20 times this i did not have steel for the steel casing um, so I just went with the uranium for now. I have one that's constantly feeding in here with some stuff on it. You can see my transfer nodes there. It's basically just getting from a cobble gen that's feeding both of these crucibles. One is just going straight into this iron drum, which is now full. One is going through this water system using chisels and bits to get this stuff here. And I have 342 obsidian. I did make an auto, you can see it back there, an auto witch water thing, which this is probably completely unnecessary i don't see why i would need 117 buckets of witch water but i have 117 buckets of witch water right now and it just keeps creating uh but why not just automate it let's go this is not <laughs> i put my witch water right there uh with a fan down here that somewhat works i expanded this farm out a little bit to give it some more this is not working that well i only want to run this for a little bit though I'm just running it for long enough to get a drop of evil. Then I'm going to make a proper mob farm somewhere uh, using like vector plates and things like that. I don't know. But right now it is doing nothing for me. Um, very, very, very few things are spawning in it. And I don't quite understand why. Uh, I did build down here. Bloop. Let's see if anything happened yet. Nope. So I went down to Y level 50 and I threw some water down. And I'm hoping to get some squid because there's some things that need some black ink. Um, so I was told that they spawn around Y level 50, so I made that. I think I can always do some squid bait if need be. And if you're wondering why that water's there, it's because that's where my mining dimension's at. And if I fall down, I have to go into water. Otherwise, it's a long way down. I've expanded this out. This is going to be my room for chickens. I have planted some random... I needed sugar cane for something, so I made some snad, put it around there. Most of this room is wheat because I need a lot of wheat. And then I threw some rice down because... This will be working as my slime balls until I can get a better slime production. Um, I did golden lasso some cows. Woohoo! I got my other, my second chicken. Uh, so I got two chickens now. But what I noticed is there's some recipes that are requiring some quartz for a lot of things like. Um, the, not the redstone repeaters, they're often uh, requiring comparators, which needs quartz. There's no nether in this, per se, but there is quartz blocks in the mining dimension. Turns out the percentage is really low, though. And I had to go back because I only had four, and I went back and dug for quite a while just in a straight line at Y level 30, I believe it was. I looked at, the, uh, at where this is at quartz. And so, whoops, not another quartz. I wanted to look at regular quartz blocks. And as you can see, it is, yeah, Y level 30. It's pretty high percentage, highest percentage, but which is 0.16. So it's still not much. Um, and it really like drops off to different, per God, it's, it's like sporadic and all over the place. So I dug for long enough to get a total of, where is it? 10. So I got six more. That was all I got. Now, the nice thing is what I can do is take eight of these. And put them around 
an egg. And this will make me a quartz chicken egg. And I only have enough for one, though. So I can't really breed them together yet. But I got another quartz chicken egg. Can't be bred. Why can't it be bred? I don't know why it says it can't be bred. Um, maybe because I have to breed them together in the breeder. Now, the problem is I need a roost. I need this chicken catcher, which requires a feather. I have no idea how to get a feather. Can't do anything with this thing until I get the feather, which is insane. Um, but there was, a, isn't there like a chicken analyzer somewhere? Should be a 111 chicken, but I thought there was an analyzer. Analyzer. Destination. Chicken analyzer. Here we go. An egg and a compass. I think I might make one of these. And I'll tell you why when we get there. Basically, I've seen a lot of people play this, and whenever you breed some 10, 10, 10 chickens together, because they, you know, they have different strengths and stamina's and all the stuff. When you breed them together, they end up with why can it not be bred? I'm really curious. It can't be bred. This the way this one is created, if I if I'm correct, if I put this down, good. It's automatically this one will give you a chicken. Unlike, whereas if it's one of the a regular egg or a Minecraft egg or like one of the red or green or blue dyed eggs, it's just a chance and you have to like spawn the chicken um, or you have to put the chicken in a little nest to guarantee that it's going to gonna spawn as opposed to your normal Minecraft chance of getting it. But things like the flint chicken, the log chicken, etc., those are automatically going to come on down. But let me take a look for a minute and let me look at the chickens and see that roost. Because I'm pretty confident. I, I want to get to the list. Let me just go to the ink black chicken. Nope. Sorry. Ink. An ink black chicken. I want to just look at the all the chicken breeding. This one just shows. I want to see all the uh, chicken breeding. But I can't right now. So either way. Quartz. No, at roost. Let's find the, the. Oh good lord. Let's see who I can breed this quartz chicken with, because I think you can still breed them with normal vanilla mechanics, unless they changed it, until I can get this feather. <laughs> I could also put them in a, um, where is this stupid chicken? Endurium chicken, so let's just look at, uh, nether quartz. Thought that would be easy to do it that way. It is not. It's a glowstone chicken. Nether quartz chicken. Um, so let's look at another quartz chicken and he can breed. Here we go with a yellow chicken, an ink black chicken, a redstone chicken, another quartz chicken with a coal chicken to get a lava chicken, another quartz chicken with iron chicken to get an osmium chicken. Now the question is, is an iron chicken is a bone white and a flint. Okay. So I guess that really doesn't, doesn't matter for what I wanted it to matter for. Let me see if I can just breed these guys. Because I could have sworn you could still just breed them like normal. Um, if I gave you and you. They should make a baby. They did make a baby. No. They, po they pooped an egg. So I guess they can't be bred like that. Man, I thought they were going to be able to breed... Huh. I really thought they were going to be able to breed that way until I can get this feather. You know what? I think maybe what I need to do is kill this normal chicken. I think this becomes like a battle. Oh, I thought the chickens got like super mad at you or something. No. He did not drop anything. That is very, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Err. Uh. <laughs> that chickens. So if I get these. Can I get the hen house? And isn't there going to be like a chicken net? I can put this guy in. So this will make a hen house. So I'm going to collect items from the chickens in the 9 by 9 by 9 When provided with a hay bale. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, it's not the roost. What is the, uh, because if I look at, I thought this was going to go a lot smoother than this. 
Because if I looked at getting a feather, here we go. It's in a nesting pen. I will get a chance of getting feathers from, I think the smart chicken. I hope the smart chicken will give me some feathers. Uh, so what's the nesting pen in? What mod? Because that's got uh, a mestome nesting pen. I thought the feathers would be this hard to get a hold of. So it's an egg nest with oak planks, but that's also in hatchery. That's it. Hatchery. So give me some of this because I think I'm going to make... Boom, boom. No, boom, boom. Oh, three hay bales. Ugh. Okay, three hay bales. That's kind of expensive. More expensive than I thought it was wheat-wise. Uh, I was missing some planks. And let's do that. Let's get this. But then let's look at hatchery. At hatchery. So I can't remember what the, what is the net called that you can scoop the chickens up with. Here we go. Just an animal net. So three string. Because what I can do for now is... Bam. I think I can just get my feather that I, I'm needing. I didn't have a feather sitting in one of these, did I? No. Okay. <laughs> I would have felt really stupid if I had a feather sitting in one of these. Um, but let's get, let's just put this nesting pen in the corner. Let's get the smart chicken, put him in there. There we go. He's a one, 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 which sucks. He's, he's really, really slow, but let's see if in two minutes and 37 seconds, I do get a drop of a feather. Cause once I get a drop of a feather, then things are complete. It's going to be a completely different game, but let's get, um, Let's go at Roost, which is the mod that has the uh, chicken burrito that I want. I, we can make this. I need another three hay bales. Which I do have enough for, but I will need to really ramp up my production of... I don't know why I just made four, but that's okay. A chicken burrito. I'm missing seeds, which I have. Yeah, I'm going to need to ramp up this production of seeds because that's going to be very important when it comes to this mod. Um, so there's a burrito... I need to make a roost as well. So I need three, two more um, for when these guys get all done. All right, so I need 18. I only have 15 as it stands right now. Like that's how, yeah, I'm gonna, I got a cloche. I'm going to start using the cloche on this stuff when I can get some form of power. Uh, that, though I don't think that's going to be sufficient for what I want to do either. So I'm going to just have to uh, really ramp up my my production in that somehow. Roost Collector. What is the Roost Collector? I'm not sure I'm going to need... I don't know how that works. I think I need one of those at some point, but... What we're going to do... I'm just going to start by putting... A Roost over here. A Breeder down here. For the time being. And I think the Roost Collector will probably pull the stuff like right out of here. Uh, but these things are ready. I just need to wait for the two minutes for this guy to do a drop. Of course, he dropped just an egg. Egg is fine. 50 seconds. Come on, baby. Drop me a feather. Let's make sure the smart chicken can actually drop a feather like I was looking for it before. Oops. Home. Feather. It's 61 pages of this stuff. Nesting pen chicken drops. Can't even tell which, which one these are. Looks like they all drop feathers, so I really, really should be fine with this. Sad, I, I need a feather. Come on, baby. Two seconds, one second. Yes. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Nethercourt Chicken. <laughs> So let's see if I can go get this chicken stick. A long ways around to get there, so egg. And this probably isn't the spot that all this stuff is gonna stay in the uh in the forever the forever time, so 
Got you. Thank God. So let's get you. Let's go ob objectify you. Nope. Got another court chicken that was apparently a quest. So let's go. How do I get him out of here now? I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, so I think even though these guys aren't meant to, I do want to analyze. And I want to, so I was talking about the analyzing of these things. And a lot of people will breed a chicken up to like a 10, 10, 10 chicken. And they will do that and then they will breed them together and it will, like then when they finally get their next chicken that they want, it's always a one, one, one. But I've never seen anybody actually analyze it to know if it starts, if you analyzed it, would it start out as higher or not? So that's the only reason I want to do it. So I'll make a compass, which I can do with iron and redstone very, very easily. And this is only for my, like, it's going to take a while to breed these guys, actually. So I want to analyze them all. Because I'm curious if it really makes if it makes a difference at all. And I doubt it will. However, I just want to know for a fact. So get you forgot an egg again. And so chicken analyzer. How's it work now? Oops. Analyze. 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 Use it on chickens to determine their stats for day of the week that the chickens have. <laughs> like the best. What? Okay, so can I... If I do that... Okay, it's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. It didn't change anything. It didn't actually, like, do anything except for just tell me that information. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I expected it to do a little bit more. And it's got a... A thing on it. Um... So if I do this, now I'm going to put these seeds in here. It's going to take a long time for this to go. I should have a chance of getting, since they, these things don't breed together to make anything, but I should be able to get a smart or a quartz chicken as one of the possible drops from this, I would assume. And then I get my second quartz chicken to start bringing them together to increase their stats uh, on those. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long process. If that fails... What I can do is either go back to the mining dimension to get more quartz, or I can just take my nether quartz chicken, throw him in that roost for a while, let him get some of the drops. Actually, I guess I could just put him up in, in this roost um, instead of the, the hatchery pen. Put him in this roost to get his drops, and once I get his drops, then we'll, be, we'll have enough. Once I get enough to make a second one, we can start doing that. But it's definitely going to be a slow process for now. And I have seen some people who have some videos out there about how to speed up the process of this or automate the process of this, which is pretty cool. And... Sometime later in the series, maybe I will get there and build a, a machine like that. It actually involves like, uh, uh, it was System Collapse, I believe, is the YouTuber that I watched it on. I've watched it a handful of these Stoneblock 2 series, but so I, I suggest you go check some of them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, but I think it was System Collapse who shows off something that he saw from somebody else, where it basically will dispense the chickens once they breed into a secondary uh, a drawer that has a redstone signal upgrade in it so when both slots are full it's a two by two drawer or a one by one by two when both slots are full it sends out a signal to like start breaking the spawner and it breaks everything and it re-puts it together it's, it's a, long story short it's a pretty cool concept but in the meantime we have three quests to turn in because i've got the smelter request done off camera i did make a cobblestone generator tier two and then obviously we got one of those uh one of the chickens up here it was the nether course chicken right here in the middle um i could make a log chicken I can't remember if I can make a lapis chicken or not here. Why are these? Why didn't it give me these? Catch a chicken. I need to catch a normal chicken. Which I've never done because I constantly used... Uh, I killed the one. And I thought there was something special too with the chicken boss. But either way, let's get... Uh, we'll get this going again because then i can catch a chicken and finish that reward as well mob farm is still not doing anything in the meantime let's go check these quests got an ender chest resonant conversion kit so that'll be nice when i get to some of those machines and some epic bacon were the uh the three rewards i just got with that so not terrible um this one's pretty cool epic bacon i haven't done anything with yet 
this Herculean sword. I really need to get to, to some network um, or some storage stuff, but I don't have any sort of power gen yet, which I could start power gen. Let's, what does it cost to get into the flux networks again? Because I could just start using um, like a lava generator or a magmatic generator or something like that. And I can't remember what it takes to get the you know, the flux block. The, the flux controller. Flux controller, there it is. So flux cores, flux, flux blocks. Flux is just smelting of redstone. Um, so that's obviously easy to get. This thing is just a bunch of flux with the flux cores. Ah, eyes of Ender. So until I can get a hold of, I don't need Blaze yet, do I? No. Where do you get Blaze in this pack? I haven't sifted it to get anything. Have I just not sifted the right things? Yeah, it looks like you can sift for it. Dust and an iron stiffened or a diamond stiffened mesh. So okay, so I will. I might have to do some. Some sieving at some point. I'll probably have to set up an auto sieve system, which just to get some of that blaze. Um, I think I have a bunch of dust somewhere that I could just sit there and sieve if I really wanted to at the time being. What's the progress on this? 63%. Yeah, it is a very, 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 very slow um, process. The wand of acceleration, which you would see a lot of people use in Stoneblock 1. Um, I think you have to, I think it exists in this pack, but you have to. And uh, it doesn't exist. There has been an update to this pack. Oh, there it is. Acceleration wand. Um, wait, is this really not hard? Bone meal? Advanced wand core. Oh, nether stars. So they had a wand core, gas tears. Wand core is easy. The advanced wand core. You need another star and two gas tears. Uh, can I get these from? An, is there another star chicken? No, <laughs> that would be that would be nice. I believe there is a gas tier chicken. Yeah, there is a gas tier chicken. Um, so that'll eventually get to where I needed to to go. That guy has not spawned yet. If I run down here, oh creeper! I really need this thing to produce me a skeleton. Oh, by the way, this fan I got is a fan from Open Blocks. I believe it is. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. I got a bone since then, I because I had two of them in there, which means a skeleton probably went went through. The witch water is working to convert them. I just got some punji sticks up on the walls. All I got going on over there. I think it's just not a big enough spawn area right now. Why do I? Why would you want to? Hey, there he is. Come here. Okay, that should be a quest. Uh, it should technically be a couple quests, shouldn't it? Because then I got the hen house and egg bed in a... Yeah, I'm going to have to make an egg bed again. Even though I already made one of those. That's annoying. Was a roost one of them that I, I just was looking at? A roost collector. <laughs> oh, good lord. What is a roost collector? Because hopefully that makes it take a, a hen house if I need it. Roost. Uh, so this. Is a shulker box for this? Oh, man. That's going to get a little bit intense there. Shulker box. Well, either way, folks, hang tight. I'm going to get some more climbing gloves, apparently. I'm going to... Come back when Nether Course Chicken. Oh, beautiful. Um, so that's exactly what I wanted right there was this Nether Course Chicken. It's still obviously going to be a 1-1-1, one, 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 I think, even though it doesn't give me any stats on him. But he's very, very, very slow. So what I'm going to do is hold off when this thing goes through again. Cycles. I'm going to start kind of ramping this guy up, and we'll see if we can get him up to a 10-10-10 chicken and... Uh, You'll see what I'm doing with this episode. Then I'll start working on the chickens off camera. This is actually going a lot faster. So it makes me wonder if this is not a 111 chicken. I don't know how to actually see what kind of chicken it is. Because, yeah, it's going extremely fast in comparison. So, anyways, guys, I uh, will see you shortly. 
Well, folks, it's been a little while of uh, just doing some manual work over here. And as you can see, my limiting factor is definitely now seeds, but I'm one seed away from getting my 16th 10, 10, 10. Now, of course, check it out and watch how much faster this is now. I just put the one seed in here and woof. When you have multiple 10, 10, 10 chickens, man, this thing just flies. It takes two breeds per though. And there's my 16 10, 10, 10 chickens. If I put them in here, they should just start producing me stuff extremely fast because there are 16 of them. So now quartz, no longer an issue at all. I will need to get it out of there um, at some point. But I've also started, uh, made some other breeders. I started working on some uh, sand chickens. And people might think that sand chickens are not that like important, and they're kind of not. But the nice thing is about getting a lot of sand is it skips a bunch of processes of beneath the sift like dust, getting to sifting of the dust. And you just make a sand chicken with, or sifting everything down or hammering everything down to get to the sand it takes away that part of it. Um, <clears throat> I just utilized the uh, sand around an egg is a sand chicken. I made a flint chicken um, over here. I'm also breeding them up. That's why I made a couple extra breeders. And I also made a log chicken, which I can now start to get these log chickens breeding. I made two of those. Problem is I'm at a limitation of seed. So we need to do something about my, my seed situation here. Uh, relatively quickly otherwise I will not be able to progress forward super fast with this so I need to come up with something I let these guys just roam loose over here uh, I also read about the what is it, the chicken chicken stick I think it's called this is what I was thinking when I killed that one chicken that I would get this item but apparently you got to do a stick on the chicken so let's uh let's take a look over here and let's see what happens when I Stick this chicken. Take a stick. And ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. Angry chicken. Oh, my good Lord. He's crazy. He's crazy. How hard, how hard is this guy? He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. He killed me. He. He's a lot tougher than, than, than I thought. Uh broke something there we go look my, my shirtless my shirtless self tells me where i died what i had all this stuff's over there i was not anticipating that to uh to happen let's put this death log info over here i had to make i had to make some type of had, had i known he was gonna be that tough i would have uh done something completely differently i would just, just kept my distance because i easily could have just kept my distance and still attacked him so let's make this see if i can use a normal sword and Yeah, I, I could just fight him like this. Look at that. Killed him. He did. And now I got this chicken stick. Oh my god, I was not I was not anticipating that. That's kind of funny. Um, got all my stuff back. Hopefully I got everything back that I needed. Um, I realized there is a quest for the chicken analyzer. And it's not... It, I, it, the quest line wasn't opened when I had... Let's see if I can get rid of this marker... I don't know how to get into my death markers. I thought it would be... Uh, I can make my waypoints. I will just have to figure that out off camera, what the, uh, what the situation is with, with that. I do have a player head now as well. That might actually come in handy at some point. But let's get some of the stuff put away. And this, I believe... What, what I think this is, is it's a... A standard old hammer, but I'm pretty confident that it is indestructible. So, I think I can just take all these. I wish I just should make a, um, you know what, I, you know what I'm talking about. That thing that I should make. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, look at that. It is just an indestructible hammer, which is nice. I don't think I can use it to make a experience boost one to three. It's got a curse of vanishing on it, huh? As it comes from an item stack. Or whatever whatever that is. Either way, it's uh it's nice because now I never have to make a normal hammer again if I'm gonna deal with a regular a regular hammer. Uh let's put two of you guys in here. Oh, these guys are almost done actually. 10, 
There we go. So let's put all these excess guys in here. Now, I, I definitely need to get some more. These are just my waste chickens, essentially. <laughs> waste chickens. You in one of these slots over here. Player head's going to go somewhere else. We will... We will end this episode extremely soon. These climbing gloves are making it so every time I like walk around here, if I climb too close to the wall, I uh, definitely do start to attack uh, or uh, jump and break the uh, the ground, which is unfortunate. Get rid of this. Let's take you over here. At least get you going again. Um, hopefully I can get some 10, 10, 10 chickens here. That'll take a while to go. This will still take a while to go. These are in the early stages. So definitely need to work on getting some new. Um, just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm already a drawer. And let's do a drawer. Just make a handful of, of drawers uh, with some item nodes as well. Grab four of those. I think I still have some flat transfer nodes. Yep, perfect. And I'm pretty confident that this should easily be able to just go um, that and that. Beautiful. Now the thing is, I don't know if these other if other chickens have different drops or what. But God, this, these, I mean, these things are producing faster than it can actually pull out into this into this drawer, which is pretty insane. Three, three, twos, three, three, twos, three, four, fives. But either way, I'm gonna just manually start moving all these guys around, come in every so often and grab some, uh, go get some seeds. I'm gonna look into best ways to improve my seed automation in between episodes, see if I can figure out how to get rid of that latest death marker uh in this particular pack i just got to find out what key bind it is and let's see if i can i don't know there have i gotten any of these squids yet no i might need to look into squid bait spawn squid squid bait here we go it's just fish double fish must be placed in water that should be easy honestly i should just be able to make like a fishing rod do that i might make that off camera and throw it down to get some squid um, spawning, and if I can get eight of them, you can make a squid chicken, and I'll never have to worry about that again, so that I can cover that up, so I might do that off-camera as well. Uh, we'll just work on a couple things. This, um, I finally got some skeletons to spawn in here. Not enough to get a drop of evil, though, which is what I really need to happen at this point. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. What I think I'm gonna do is before I get this whole thing set up in... I was gonna go like this. Make this into a... Um, spawner for the time being. How is this thing not just producing ridiculous amounts of mobs right now? Is something wrong with this setup? It shows the light level is low enough for this thing to want should be spawning. I put a drop of evil on there. Here we go. I know that this fan isn't working appropriately. I need to either get a second fan or... Whoa, don't do that, please. Please, please. Uh, either need to get a second fan. Push those guys through. Or uh, move changes over to vector place, which I could do either one off camera. I guess I don't deal with the babies at all yet. There we go. Once I and once I collect just enough. Oh my god, an Enderman for the first time. Thank God. He teleported out of there. Uh that was something I had not thought about happening. Okay. That's something we might have to take into account, but we will have to do all that in the next episode. Switch over to the vector plates, get this thing going. Wow, I did not expect that to happen. Either way, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode uh, where you'll come back and I'll have some more chickens going and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching. See you next time.